Yo guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how to create these cool black and white glitch effects within Premiere Pro. So we're in Premiere now and we just have our clips here and we're going to change this clip into the black and white clip. We're going to come over to effects and presets and scroll down to the black and white glitch effect pack by Jack by David Reese. So within this pack we have full black and white effects or we have color black and white effect glitch effects. I'll show you the difference between the two later on in the video. So there's loads of different ones in here but I'm just going to drag on number 13 onto our clip which creates this cool glitchy black and white effect. But now to add something really cool, we're just gonna add a simple flash. We're gonna make a simple adjustment layer and then we're gonna drag our adjustment layer on our clip like so and then just cut the adjustment layer down. We're then gonna scroll in the middle of our two clips like so, head up to effects, flash transition pack by Jack by Dad Reese. You can use your own flash presets if you've already got them or if you wanna pick up mine, you can go ahead and pick them up on my website. We're just gonna add a fast movement flash. I'm just gonna pick number nine and just drag that onto our footage like so. We're then gonna come over to effects controls. I'm gonna come over to the left and we're gonna click these down arrows like so. And then we're gonna select all our keyframes. We're then going to drag the middle keyframe into the middle of our clip. So there we go, guys. We have now, we have an awesome cool black and white glitch effect with a nice flash to go with it. These are really good to use on small clips. So if you want to use an effect for like a couple of seconds and you don't want it to be really obvious, these are really nice to do just for a short amount of time and then transition into another clip. I'm also going to show you guys now what the difference is between the black and white and the color one is. Scroll down to the black and white one and then we're going to hit color and we're just going to drag on one of these. So as you can see the color effect has slightly more color in it. It's still black and white, but it's not as black and white. As you can see, the glitch effect has some color in it. This pack is really good because you can combine them with loads of different other transitions, presets and stuff. This effect is very situational though. Don't use it all the time. You can use it now and again in certain videos and stuff. It's not gonna fit every video, but it's still a really cool effect and it's really simple to use. So don't forget to head over to my website and pick it up. I hope you did enjoy the video. Don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one, guys.